Welcome again, folks, to our weekly NeoVim plugin video series. So this is a series in which I try to post one video or short on a NeoVim plugin a week. This week, we are covering Spectre. Spectre is a search and replace plugin that supports regular expressions, file path globs, and bulk replacements. So let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so here we are in the init.lua file. And uh, first things first, we're gonna install Spectre. To install Spectre, we're gonna use a plugin called Lazy, which is a plugin manager that helps us uh, manage all of our NeoVim plugins. I have a video on Lazy, the plugin manager. So if you're curious to check that out, I'll leave a link to that video up in the top right here. Okay, so I'd like to keep all of my plugin um, installation directives in a file called plugins lazy. So I'll use telescope here to open up plugins lazy.lua. Hit enter there. You can see here there are a lot of lines in this file, so I'm going to hit shift G to go all the way to the bottom. And I've added this line here nvim pack nvim specter, which tells plugins lazy or the lazy plugin manager to install specter. All right, so we have that there. I'm gonna go ahead and save it. And you can see here that we've received a notification here in the nice format that, that uh, has told us, or that has, says config change detected. Cool. All right, so now let's get into configurations. We're gonna configure Spectre now, and I keep all of my plugin configurations in a file called plugin configs. So we'll use telescope to go to plugin configs.lua. Hit enter there, uh, shift G to go all the way to the bottom. And you'll see here that I have some configurations already defined. So I'm gonna go ahead and uncomment these lines using GCC or the comment plugin. Um, oh, don't wanna, don't wanna uncomment that one there and save the file. All right, so let's walk through these configurations. Result padding is the character that's gonna show up in your search results before your search results. So that's kind of like the padding characters and we'll, we'll see that later on in the video. This default replace command block here will tell Spectre to use the set command for any replacements. And I believe this is the default configuration as well. So if you wanted to just use set, you can leave this block out, but Spectre does provide several configurations or several options as to what commands or what program you want to use for the replacement. I like to use said because it, it supports grouping, it supports regex, so that, that's why I like to use said there. All right, so that's the configurations, and let's go on now to key mappings. All right, so for key mappings, we're going to open up a file called key mappings. I like to keep all of my key mappings in this file. So go ahead and open that up and shift G to go all the way to the bottom. I went ahead and added my key mappings here, but we'll walk through them one by one. Okay, I uncommented those lines there. The very first key map is going to be when I'm in a normal mode and I press leader capital S, then I'm gonna run, or it, the program is gonna run require specter toggle. So it's gonna toggle specter. Cool, when I'm in it normal mode and I press leader lowercase sw, it's gonna run require specter open visual select word true. So it's gonna select that word and search for it. If I'm in visual mode and I do the same thing, then it's just gonna run the same command um, just in visual mode. If I'm in normal mode and I press leader sf, I do require specter open file search and then also select the word true, which means that I'm going to uh, select the word that's on my cursor or um, that's right, the word that's on my cursor, highlight it and search for it, but only in my file, my current buffer. So that's what leader SF does, leader search file. It's like how it, that's how I like to think about it. All right, cool. Those are our key mappings. All right, so let's go ahead and restart NeoVim. Init.lua. All right, very good. And uh, you're gonna see a notification from Lazy, which says that Spectre has been installed. 
I, ha I don't get that notification because I already had it installed. So to confirm that it's installed, you can just um, go into command mode, run lazy, and to search for Spectre here, use forward slash, and you can see here that Spectre is indeed installed and loaded. Very good. All right, so let's see how Spectre works. Uh, remember that our key mapping to load or to toggle Spectre was leader, capital S. All right, well, the very first thing you should see is a new buffer off to your right with the terms search, replace, and path. So let's work through an example here. If I wanted to search for the word lazy, I go into insert mode, type lazy, and then exit insert mode by hitting escape, and now all of the search results have appeared. So I see where lazy has appeared and what file and how many times. And it also highlights the token that has matched my search. So you can you can do regex, regex searches as well. So if I wanted to search for any require statements with zero or more characters inside the brackets, then I can do that. You can see here that it went ahead and uh, matched any tokens that uh, meet that criteria. All right, so very cool. So again, this is the file name and all of the matches in that file. So we have search, we have search results from all across our project or our current working directory or project working directory. Um, in order just to search like your file that you have open, I'm going to quit Spectre here, just how I would quit any normal buffer. And I will uh, use my, my hotkey leader S F for leader search file. And now what it's done, it's, uh, it's only restricted the search to the file called init.lua. So uh, you can see here that uh, if I type require, exit insert mode, it's only going to show me the results in the init.lua file. All right, so that is searching. Now let's talk about how to replace. Um, so if I wanted to replace any of these require words with, let's say, test, then I would just put test here under the replace line, uh, exit insert mode, and you'll notice that Spectre now has inserted the the text that I want to replace require with and highlighted it red. So I have require my search term in blue and test the string I want to replace my search term with in, in red. All right, so that's just like a preview of what it's going to do. It hasn't actually done the replacement yet. That's where I think the question mark key comes into play. So if I press question mark, you can see all of the mappings or all of the actions that I can take inside the Spectre buffer. So I can update when Vim writes to file, I can toggle item, I can uh, use set to replace, but the ones that I use the most often are replace all and replace item. All right, so I can replace all using leader R, leader capital R. So I'm going to go ahead and try that. I'm going to try uh, leader, capital R. And right away, you'll see Spectre has put these ch uh, um, check marks with the word done next to the lines that I'm uh, doing the search and replace on. That's kind of cool. So we know for a fact that, hey, this operation, this replace operation has been done. And if we go back to my buffer here, yes, we can indeed confirm all the require words have been replaced with test. All right. Well, let's try that backwards, but with just replacing one item at a time. All right, so we're gonna search for test, and instead of replacing it with test, we're gonna replace it with require. And to replace just one single item at a time, you press leader RC. All right, so I don't wanna replace this first line, so I'm gonna leave that alone but I do want to replace these lines here. So I can select them in visual mode, do leader RC. Whoops, that wasn't right. All 
All right, well, let's try that again. I want to replace test with require. Again, so I don't want to do this first line, but I want to do these lines here. I guess you can't do it in visual mode. You just have to do them one at a time. So leader RC, done, leader RC, done, leader RC. Cool, so I've replaced all of those lines that I've wanted to with leader RC one at a time. I preferably like to use um, leader capital R to replace all, but you know, be careful with that command because you don't want to inadvertently replace something that you didn't intend to. Cool. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to use groups um, and reference those groups, regex groups, in your replace expression. All right, so let's say, for example, we have the statement require lazy setup plug plugins lazy, uh, and say that we've had it, you know, two or three times in our file, and we wanted to replace this plugins lazy string or whatever it is inside these parentheses with um, with something else that also includes this string. So that's where regex groups would come into, into play. All right, so our search result here will be something like, okay, setup, open parentheses, zero or more characters, close parentheses. Okay, if I wanted to group these, uh, or group whatever is in these parentheses, then I can do it this way. So the first set of escape parentheses matches the character literal open and closed parentheses. Um, so this set here matches this parentheses here. The second set of parentheses is a regex expression to group something and reference it later. So we're essentially grabbing whatever, whatever these characters are inside the parentheses and we can reference them in our replace expression. So let's give that a whirl. So in our replace expression, we're going to do setup and then do forward slash one to reference the first group in your search expression and then close parentheses. All right. So again, whatever's in blue is what we've searched for. What's matched our search expression. Whatever's in red is what's going to be what's the replacement is going to be. So we matched setup plugins lazy and then we're replacing it with setup plugins lazy. But what if we don't want setup? What if we want like uh, call, for example? Well, we can do that too, and we can still reference whatever's inside the parentheses using grouping. So that's pretty cool. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, that will end our video on Spectre. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and uh, remember to su subscribe to this channel. We like to do this every single week if we can. Um, and have a nice day.